To become a great putter, one of the key factors is distance control. Your ability to hit the golf ball at the middle of your putter will determine whether you have good distance control or not. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, please do consider hitting that subscription button below. In today's video, I'm going to bring you two drills that you can use on your putting mats at home or on the putting greens at your golf clubs. To see the effects of not hitting it out of the middle of the club and what happens is just look at these three putts here. One straight out of the middle, one's out the toe and one's out the heel. It's very easy to see the ones that you hit out of the heel and toe because they haven't gone as far as the one out of the middle. So therefore, if you are inconsistent in your strike of your putter, you'll be inconsistent in the distance that you're going to hit the golf ball. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a couple of drills to help you become a better putter. If you look at the putter, and you hit it out the toe, you can see there's a little bit of deflection in your putter face. That will cause the golf ball to start a little bit right of target, but the main factor is that it's not gonna be the greatest strike, and therefore the power that you're gonna to transmit to the golf ball is gonna be reduced. Same thing can be said about the heel. So you can see how the putter deflects and moves around so the golf ball will start a little bit left of your intended target line. So if you then take it straight out of the middle, you can see there the putter is going backwards and forwards. So therefore there's the least amount of deflection when it comes to hitting the golf ball out of the put middle of the putter. The first drill, what I would call is the Tiger Woods drill. Um, if you have tea pegs, um, then you can um, put them in the putting green. You probably have seen Tiger Woods practicing this way. If you are utilizing a putting mat like I am, and probably lots of other people in the winter months, is I'm gonna take two three ball sleeves. So what we're gonna do is take your putter and put three ball sleeves next to the golf ball like that. It just provides a gate for you to swing this putter through. So you can make it as easy or as difficult as you want. But what I would do to start off with is make it relatively wide to give you some success to start off with because there's nothing more disconcerting than not performing the drill that you would like to do. Over time, what you can do is move it in a little bit to create a narrower gate. This way, you will have to really concentrate and hit it out the middle of the club. So the second drill that we're going to talk about is using pieces of blue tack. So what we would do, we would put the blue tack on the putter face. So what you're doing is creating a little gate on your putter for this golf ball to go between. If you hit it out of the heel, it's going to create a dead sound and not go in the right direction and same with the toe. So by putting that there, you're really focusing your attention and your practice into getting that golf ball right out of that middle. If you hit it right in the middle, you the ball will go with a nice crisp sound straight to the hole. If you hit it off the heel or the toe, have a very dull sound, it will go off, not in the direction of intent. Just as a point of note, don't have these too close to start off with. Start and wide them, bring them in as you get good. That way you will achieve 
some success early on because there's nothing more discouraging as I mentioned in the in the first drill with the with the sleeve of golf balls I hope you found them couple of drills very very useful in helping you get a more consistent centered strike thank you very much for watching if you do struggle with them short puts what I would suggest is giving this video a watch next it's going to help you hold them short three footers with regularity and help you stop them three puts thank you very much for watching and I look forward to welcoming you on my next video.